and welcome back to Brightside News. I'm your news anchor, Gator the Legend. today comes from Texas. It's a story about a nutrition manager at an elementary school who has lost more than a hundred pounds. Now when Tammy McRae sat down with Good Morning America, she had this to say, I was 260 pounds and I got a job as a nutrition manager, but then I realized I wasn't very nutritious, so I decided to make a change. So McRae said she started eating breakfast and lunch with the kids at school, the same stuff she had been encouraging them to eat. She decided to herself, well, if I'm encouraging them to eat it, then I should join them. She says it feels really good to take control back of her life and to be able to do things she wasn't able to do before, perhaps, or for example, like mowing her own yard or going fishing with her children. McRae left us with this. I just say, for anyone else out there that is thinking of making a change, go for it. Be a part of your own life. Thank you, Mick Ray. People like you are truly inspiring people all across the world. I'm sure you all remember back in 2009 when John Travolta lost his oldest son of 16 years old, Jet, due to a seizure that he had in the bathroom where he hit his head against the bathtub and bled out. In a recent interview, John Travolta said two years later he had another son, and that son is what kept their family together, pulled him up from their bootstraps, if you will, and kept them forging forward. Now, the Travoltas have recently taken over Cincinnati for the shooting of the movie The Life and Death of John Gotti, where Travolta plays an Italian-American gangster. And one of the things he said he really liked about this role is it gets to show off a more sensitive side. So I hope everyone goes out and checks out the movie, and I hope everyone's happy for uh, this family and how they've been able to stick together and get through some of the tough times they've gone through. Now, this brings us to our last story of the evening. At 3 a.m. in the morning, a black man by the name of Mark Ross learned that his 15-year-old sister had just been killed in a car wreck. So he was going out of his way to do whatever he could to get there to his family so he could be with him. Unfortunately, they were hundreds of miles away. Unfortunately for Ross, the man giving him a ride had a suspended license. So upon entering Ohio, they were pulled over immediately by a deputy who happened to be white. Unfortunately, Ross also had an outstanding misdemeanor warrant. Everything was building up to the typical response that we usually see in such situations. But this wasn't like the other publicized encounters between young African American men and white cops. There was something about this event that was about to go just a little differently. See, instead of shooting Ross or taking him to jail, Sergeant David Robinson did the unexpected. He gave him a ride over a hundred miles to where he was going so he could be with his family in this time of need. So, Sergeant David Robinson, I would like to thank you for being a true hero today and helping Mr. Ross get to his family so he can be there with him in this time of need. And to his family, I certainly hope the best for you guys going through this tragic, horrible situation. Thank you all for joining Brightside News today. I hope you've enjoyed experiencing the bright side. Peace.